Hey everybody, welcome back to Barely Gardening with me, Justin Bear. Hey, what I wanted to show you today was some bok choy that I let go to seed. And I wanted to show you what that looked like. So here it is. So bok choy is like a, seems like a lettuce type of thing, cabbage, I think. I did not eat any, eat any of it this year. Um, I just grew it for the seed. Um, so that I can grow it again and see if I can grow it again. So I just wanted to show you how I collect the seeds, what it looks like. So the stalks went brown. Um, some of the seed pods have opened up. This is the seed pod here. I'll show you what the seeds look like. They're not very big. Really tiny. So I don't know if you can see these little brown, little tiny brown seeds. So that's bok choy seeds. So they grew great here in zone 9B um, over the winter and into the spring. So what I'll do is I'll try it again next year and this time use it to feed my family. See how the seeds are just kind of falling out? And I just have the, the husk left over. So I'm just crunching them up. And I probably already have more seeds than I'm ever going to use. But I can give them away to friends and family. And store them for next year. So just with those, oh geez, probably four or five little husks, little, little seeds. So this is bok choy seeds, very similar to, oh shoot, some other vegetables I've seen, their seeds. Oh, there it is. They look nice and healthy. And I just put them in my little container and get ready for next year. Alrighty, so if you're thinking about growing bok choy and you live in Zone 9B or in the Santa Cruz Mountains, I would say go for it. Alrighty, until next time, happy gardening.